This is my favorite part about every single Fallout game. The opening of the vault door. Even though Fallout New Vegas didn't technically have it. But... Oh, in the, it was only Fallout 3 in this, but still. Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. In the last video, we awoke from our cryogenic sleep, and we also went into a vault to 111, I think it was called. And um, after we awoke, we found our wife, Nora, dead, killed by a guy with a scar over his eye. Not talking about myself, of course. Uh, but she was shot and they took baby Sean. So, I mean, I guess I should thank you for taking the demon baby, but at the same time, you know, killing Nora is a little bit, you know, rude, I think. So that's not exactly good. Uh, no radiation. Okay, good. Anyway, let's actually look at the terminal, which I think we need to look at to... Do I remember right? To open this door? Terminal's gonna yeah. be somewhere. Okay. Now, I can't help if there's stutter in the video. It's actually also in the game uh, when I, I look around. I, I try turning off V-Sync, but it, it forces itself on. I don't know how to turn it off. I tried all the INIs. I tried everything, but uh, it seems like the FPS is sort of locked, and I can't do anything about it. I didn't want to install the high FPS mod because I'm scared that that mod will break the game. So, yeah. Vault 111 overs instructions. Uh, Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Uh, I think that's exactly what I've seen. Cryolator. There we go. That explains why we know it's a cryolator because maybe I should have read this first. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on demand form. Why? <laughs> That's a weird dream to have. Uh, the cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we are in a short supply. We are no short supply of chemicals and components. Uh, I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Operations protocol manual. President. Uh, no, that's just. I've already seen that. Overseer's log. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete, all but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Ah, okay. Uh, I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Well, only one of those people, as far as I know, not including the baby, survived, so... I mean... You could have joined us and you'll be dead. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Nordhagen? Uh, resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that, that waited until the last minute. Is he talking about us? I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people, they must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic parts. I mean, I guess you would be pretty traumatized after seeing a nuke drop and, you know, almost getting killed by it. So I can understand why people didn't see it was a cryogenic part, but at the same time, it was obviously something that was not a, um, what was it? What did I call it? A uh, pressurized chamber or something? I, I don't know. Um, system malfunction. Strange issue today with the pod C3. Subject appears to be having a heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening but unusual. We're not sure, but I suspect the hiccup in vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. That's kind of creepy. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we are nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Again, you can just say you can go out. They can go out. Like, <laughs> why, why not just go out then? If people think we can just leave when the 180 is up, they're insane. Why? The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that, that early. I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. I actually don't know. I mean, that's up to them, I guess. Um, 
the whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instruction from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until they all clear. Mutiny. So much for keeping control, huh? A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's few amounts to feed. Oh boy. Open evacuation tunnel. Uh, the personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Please maintain all staff records and research. Is this the over... No, that's, no, that's a science body. Where was the overseer's body then? Because I would like to know where exactly the overseer's body is. Well... Now I happen to know how to hit with a gun in this game. Or that you can, but otherwise I would just have shot there. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm, I'm almost dying actually. Oh boy. Uh, there we go. Please no. I, uh, I also have another mod. Uh, again, I'm just going to talk about the mods as, they, as, as you can see them. So usually when you shoot a gun in Fallout 4... The back of the gun shakes like crazy for some weird ass reason, I don't know why. And I got a mod that stops the gun from shaking in the back. That they still recoil by the way. But it doesn't shake the back of the gun anymore. Why they added that in Fallout 4, I have no clue. I guess they didn't know that you shot from the front of the gun. And the recoil will be compensated from the front all the way to the back of the gun. And not from the back to the front. I, I, I don't know. Um... But, but anyway, uh, it, it, it's okay. It shouldn't be too bad. That's a chair. I see you. Do I, do, do, can I open up some kind of inventory so I can use the baton instead? Because I don't want to waste any bullets. Are there more? No, it doesn't look like it. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Uh, you're not the overseer. Are you the overseer? Oh, God. Oh. Didn't they say the door was malfunctioned? Were they talking about the big door? Okay, nothing here. Ooh, ammo. I want to loot before I head anywhere. Yeah, 10mm round. Give me. Thank you. Ooh, another suit. I should, uh, as soon as I can, I should get that kind of suit. There you go. You see the automatic, like, lowered weapons actually had the weapon go up as soon as combat initiated. It's very nice. Is this water clean? Oh, no. No, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's great. You must have been the scientist that kind of was like, oh, yeah, so I'll clear. Okay, all right, I've checked uh, their stuff, yes. Oh, Pip Boy. This is from the trailer. Uh, the, the Fallout 4 trailer. Very cool, very cool. Copyright 2075. There we go. Now I can open up the inventory. Uh, another thing. I, I recently played Fallout 76. And uh, it sort of plays the same as Fallout 4. It's literally, literally like Fallout 4 reskinned. But that pep boy in that game is actually pretty cool. Do I like Fallout 76? Heck no. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, do you think that some aesthetics in the game are pretty cool? Yeah, they added some new mechanics too that I like. Like the scrapping mechanic that I'm using with the workbenches. They added that in 76 actually. That's kind of cool. So we have stats, special perks. Yeah, I turned off adrenaline. I think it still shows up, but I don't think it actually does anything. If I have to be honest. I, I, don't, I don't know, but it should still be off. 
I also turned off some other options off screen that I just forgot to turn off. Like no companion auto heal. I I don't like if they go down and I can't find them again, that's gonna be bad. I don't know if that's how it works, but oh well. And my limb still doesn't heal, but uh, adrenaline is off, yes. So I don't know why it still shows up in the pit boy. I'm just gonna assume that it's off. But if I do a heck ton of damage and I take almost no damage, then I'm I don't know, I might have to uninstall anything that helps me. <laughs> just to make it more difficult for myself. So they said that it was malfunctioning. Is this the door that was malfunctioning or was it this door over here that was malfunctioning? Because I don't actually know. This animation is so satisfying. I don't know what it is with it. Like the running animation, I'm not used to it in Fallout. It's actually the first time I'm using it. Because it's like a recent mod. Like the, the, when I played it back in the day, there weren't too many mods that were out. Uh, and like I said, it was PlayStation 4, but I also tried it on PC. I just didn't finish the game on PC. At least I don't think I did. Oh yeah, open up that door. This is my favorite part about every single Fallout game. The opening of the vault door. Even though Fallout New Vegas didn't technically have it, but... Oh, I need. It was only Fallout 3 in this, but still. Very retro. In some areas. But also sci fi. That's what I love about this aesthetic. Ooh. Oh, so bright. Very bright. Oof, very, very bright. Can I exit? Okay, for a second there, I thought it was locked out of the vault. I think you can always enter the vault again after you leave it, if I remember right. Uh, I have never done it though. I think once I died, did it because I had to test out a mod way back on my PC where you can like have a settlement down here. But otherwise, I don't think you can. All right, let's head up to the surface. Uh, no, everything is good. Lava just slams down. Well, no problem. Uh, throughout this whole let's play, we'll see if I edit out the loading screens. Because some loading screens can take a while. Uh, so, I, we'll see how bad it is. If it's too bad, I'll just have to edit them out. Diamond City radio signal. Classical radio signal found. Okay. Hello, beautiful world. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've also got another mod on that kind of just removes the whole uh, white filter you get on the screen. It's called Enhanced Color Correction. And when I tested, like, the game earlier, my goodness, did it look awful. Like, it was, it was so, like, it, it felt like it was blurry, but it wasn't actually blurry. It was just because of a white filter that made everything look sort of grayed out. It was so weird. But then I installed this mod and, like, so, like, all the contrast just suddenly came back again. I'm never playing without that mod again. <laughs> never. Ooh, can, can I... No, I can't take these. Can I take anything here? Ooh. Give me all the loot, thank you. But to enter the vault again, from what I remember, you, you go in here, you click this button, then you go back onto it. Uh, I think that's right. I'm not gonna do it. Because I have no reason to enter the vault. But I'll probably try it later to, to go back to Nora. Just to see. Now, what do I even have on me? I have classes, which gives me one perception. I'll take that. Right now, I need to care less about looks and more about, you know, my character's abilities. 
uh, I think perception is how far you can see with your compass that you can't see right now. But if I did this, can I? No. Do I, do I need the gun to see with it? I do. But down there you can see the compass. I think perception is how far you can see. At least it was in New Vegas. Uh, then we have fall, the, the, the new vault suit. I'll put that on instead because I don't know if there's like any bonus to it. But still, I'll I'll do that. Anyway, I guess we'll just proceed onward. Uh, we're supposed to go to Sanctuary, so I guess we'll just go to Sanctuary. We look smart. Yeah, look at me. I look smart. I got classes. I do wonder when that originated, though. The whole uh, feeling, or the whole idea of being smart if you have classes. Thank you. Satisfying sounds, yes. Hello there. I think you can pick stuff up with that button. Yeah, 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 there we go. You just hold hold down the interact button, you can pick stuff up. It's great. Whoops. <laughs> Talk about disrespecting the dead, huh? Whoopsie doopsie. Ooh. Did not see you before. I mean I have two melee weapons. How's how much ammo do I have for the ten mm? I okay I have plenty. I have plenty of ammo. I should have uh, downloaded the mod that made it so I could find less ammo, I think. This, uh, this is already a lot. Maybe it's just because it is the beginning, but dang. Sanctuary discovered. Uh, 10 millimeter pistol, I'll take it. Laundered launchware. Um, flamingo. Okay, you can't actually make them fall over. Yes, I just wasted a bullet on it. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I didn't know there were two. Oh, oh okay. Ooh. Wait, I leveled up? That's nice. Okay, let's see. What do I need? What do I need? I mean, charisma, I have three. Intelligence, I have this many. Uh, any abilities I need? I mean, this is more ammunition, which could be useful. But I'm already finding quite a lot, so I don't think that's necessary. What about gun nut? Uh, rank one gun nut perks. I need something a little bit more helpful. This one, this one. Uh, Stimpax restore forty percent of lost health, and Heradaway right removes forty percent radiation. Most auto saves are disabled. I I still don't get why that's a difficulty level. Like, why disable saving as a difficulty? Like. I know it's like, oh, nice. it makes the game more difficult. No, it, do it doesn't actually make the game more difficult. It just adds a whole new worry to the game. <laughs> Saving is a, l a luxury in video games. It's not like it adds to the difficulty. I mean, if it does to you, let me know. Because uh, I always love to be open-minded about this stuff. But personally, I really don't see how that could add to the difficulty of a game. Instead of being like... It's more frustrating than anything else. You die and you have to start way far away. Anything over here? Uh, I think I'm supposed to go to the home, right? Uh, it was not this way. It was over there. Oh yeah, that's Cotsworth. Hey, Cotsworth. I remember now. I remember the beginning of the game. I talked to you. They also showed that in the trailer, I think. I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Yes, it is me. Uh, let's see. How would I react in this situation? This isn't happening. <laughs> oh, God. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Isn't happening? What are you talking? Alive and you look distraught. Oh, perhaps the missus can offer one of those 
Hans, you humans are so fond You had to speak of it, didn't you, huh? Which, where is your better half? She's dead. She, she, she's dead, buddy. Um, a better place. They killed her. A better place. Um, w wife killers. Have you seen the killers of her? I'm not gonna try to explain myself to you right now. Just tell me where the, the killers are. They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume. Oh my goodness. A week early. I swear. You're gonna hit a nerve on me if you don't uh, not like start so making sense. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? Stop talking about where she is. She's dead. They killed her. They, they killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. Great. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? You just have to rub salt into your wood cost with really? Oh my god. Um, He's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. Not gonna ask why I'm wearing glasses all of a sudden. It's worse than I That's like what I was thinking. He was gonna ask, gonna ask like, oh, I see you gonna wear glasses. Something wrong with your eyes. Not eating properly for two hundred years will do that, I'm afraid. So you know it's been two hundred years. I mean, I knew that too, but my character didn't. So I'll say that's impossible. No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. At times, people will withhold information or caps. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing both. Uh, a difficulty of successful persuading someone is indicated by yellow, easy, orange, medium, and red hard. To improve chances of successful persuasion, increase your charisma. Okay, uh, you okay? I mean, no food, get food, I don't know. I mean, sure, you're okay? Godsworth, you're acting... A little weird. What's wrong? I... I, I succeeded. Yes. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And... Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? I, I don't, I, uh, I didn't even know robots could sound like that. Like, how do you sound frustrated? I thought your voice was programmed. Maybe they were programmed to be frustrated. Uh, well, what do you know? What do you know, Codsworth? Bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. Okay. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Okay, holotape? Uh, well, it's something. It's not... My, okay, uh, uh, holotape? A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? 
I see like frame skips after he's done talking, which is a little bit weird. Um, I mean, I guess we could continue searching. Although I don't know why you would think Sean would be here. I can just see the Concord sign in the background. Uh, you might have noticed that I don't have a depth of field right now when it's looking at my character. And that's because I have a mod, uh, again, that uh, okay, removes depth of field from the game. Because I, I don't like depth of field. Game. At all. So, anyway. Uh, anything dangerous around here? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? When you say mosquitoes and dogs... Do you mean mutated? Because <laughs> I've seen mutated mosquitoes in this game before. And let me just tell you one thing. They they aren't they, they aren't friendly. They yeah. Right. Lead the way. Round two serve, sir. <laughs> okay, I'll follow you, Cotsworth. Just don't get me killed. Oh, I need sleep. Peekaboo. Yep, yep, flies. All right, you know what? I didn't know you were talking about blow flies. I thought you were talking about mosquitoes. Oh well. Now, personally, uh, when I first played Fallout uh, on the PC a while ago, I used to use a mod called uh, Classic Critical Hits or something, where you would automatically get a critical hit based on your luck. <laughs> without using vets, but in normal vanilla game, in the normal vanilla game, you can't do that. Ooh. Uh, I don't have that mod installed, because I wanted, again, the vanilla experience, so I don't have that. Uh, but, I mean, whenever I play again, I, I want to get that mod, because it's just more fun, you know? <laughs> I don't like a lot of the vanilla stuff in this game. It's more like a, um, a slate. And then you add to the slate yourself. This, at least that's how I look at Fallout. That being said, Bethesda is very good at making slates. I don't mean to discriminate their reputation or discriminate their abilities to make games or anything. But they usually don't make full, full games. They usually make games that has some cool stuff in it. And then they kind of have to do everything because it's such a big scope. Did I kill all the insects? Are they, are they dead? Ooh, blowfly meat. Sir, don't... Yeah, I don't think we completed the whole objective of killing them, did, did we? Antibiotics. I think that'll be useful for later if I get a disease. Because I did read that a disease is in survival mode. Which is a surprise to me, actually. That's it. Double barrel shotgun, yes. New weapon, new weapon. Oh, new weapon, yes. First items cannot be. Re what did I almost remove from my inventory? Uh, anything in here I can take? Did I already take everything? I took all the meat because I know I'm gonna need food. I can see that I need sleep and water right now. The television. Oh, I can't turn it on. Sir, the missus and young. Oh, sorry. Let me hey, talk to you. <laughs> sorry about Sir, that. The missus. Young Sean, they aren't here. No shit, Cutsworth. If they were here, we would have known something. Well, what do we do now? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. The city? But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. If that is what I think it is, that is where we're going to get our first laser weapon. And I remember everything about that. So that's going to be a little bit boring for me. But I mean, it's okay. Uh, Concord? There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? Cotsworth, I... I, I, I oh, okay. I, okay. I thought we were going to get him as a companion, but apparently I'm wrong. I pistol. Isn't this the, uh, the crappy gun in the game? Oh yeah, I have three of them. Yeah. I think they're the worst gun in the game, but I'm not quite sure. The worst guns in the game. 
I just remember never using one. So maybe I'll try to use one now that I can do three times the damage, you know. Any gun kind of becomes okay after that. As long as I don't get shot back at, I should be okay. Ooh, double barrel. Yum yum. Pew pew. Sorry, I'm super excited. Uh, it's, um, it's rare that I'm this excited about some video games. Like, of course, I'm always excited to a certain degree, but usually not. <gasps> yes, that's a, that's a, that's a, okay, yeah, yeah, it was here the way it was. I remember there being a workbench here, but I think it was, I thought, I thought it was over there. Like, uh, oh, is that the, the food workbench? Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, okay, it is the food one. So, so what I used to play with is like a move workshop thing. Uh, when I last played this game. And I moved my workshop all the way over here. And I think I put it right here instead. Uh, don't have that installed, I don't think. No, 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 I don't. Not, not from what I remember, anyway. So, no reason to worry. And here we have some controversy in the vanilla game. You see the option to scrap junk? That's not technically there. That, that's a... Uh... How, how do you say it? Uh, that's not a vanilla thing you can do. The whole transfer is, but not the scrap junk. And I'm not going to do that at cooking stations. I'll only do that at weapon and armor benches. Uh, I don't think I'll do it at M benches too, because that makes no sense as well. Uh, but uh, I can do that at these benches. So let me just show how it works. So I click that, and you get like a little sound, and boom. Junk is now scrapped. And then I get materials for it, or from it, which is this stuff. Now, the, the, the mod author, I think, did say that it doesn't work on every single thing, but it works on most items. And um, that's what I think I read, by the way. So don't don't hold me up on it. Uh, so, so yeah. I also have see-through scopes, but that, it doesn't really do anything. It, it literally just makes it so I can see through scopes in the game. So I don't consider that, like, something I really need to worry about. But this, this is a vanilla feature to store all junk inside the settlement. That I can do with the cooking station because that's a vanilla thing. That's a radio. Anything in here I can take or use? Nope. Stimpack, yes. I need all the stimpacks I can get. Although I think stimpacks make me more hungry and thirsty. But, uh, we'll see. Alright, let's see if we can clean up a little bit. I don't have any settlement building mods, so I can't do much in the build mode here. But what I can do is... Uh, I, I can do all the vanilla stuff. Same with the limb, like the build size. It's also vanilla size, which is tiny. So I can't build too much. But I'll still build stuff. But it won't be the main thing I do in this whole let's play. Uh, settlement building is more for like a modded let's play in my opinion. Because uh, the vanilla one just doesn't let you do a lot of stuff. Can I can I get anything good over here? Yeah. Grab all the trees. Give me all the wood. Let's grab everything. Wait. Ooh, ammo. One thing I need to keep in mind, though, is since this is survival, my carry capacity is reduced big time. So I need to worry about what I carry with me and what I, like, keep inside the workbench. So I need to pick, like, a main area. Don't run away. I see a terminal there. I'm just removing all of this uh, so I can get some extra materials because I'm planning on uh, upgrading my weapons and uh, doing my best to make myself stronger for survival. Also upgrading my armor at some point and all that good stuff.
Come on, I don't want to rebuild the whole thing. Just let me just let me place that there and oh there we go. Yeah, easy peasy of course. I'll just run around and uh, disassemble a few things. Is that the one that Sean was supposed to ride that I just scrapped? Eh, it's, it's fine, I guess. It's okay. We have the armor workbench. Also a very useful thing to have. I'm gonna have a lot of wood. So that's gonna be nice. But I'm not gonna have much of everything else. But this street lamp skips they give so much like stuff. That's kinda nice. Only ten steel for a whole car. I mean I guess I stole everything inside of it, so it's so okay, it makes sense. There we go. So ruined houses I can scrap. I, I kinda knew that beforehand, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay, there we go. Can you go other way? Can, can you can you please go go? No, no, no. Can you go that way? Yes. And then we put you right here to stop any animals from from getting in. Yes. No. Okay. There we go. Let's just stop anyone from going over there unless they know how to jump. I'm I'm sure things don't know how to jump, right? It's fine. It's a gate. Oh, I can't, I can't fix this? That's gonna make me upset if I can't fix this. That's gonna make me wish uh, the mud stuff so... Yeah. Oh, that's gonna make me miss all the mud stuff. Okay, I can't scrap that tree. Because for some reason that tree is like a landmark for Sanctuary. Uh, anything cool in here? No, just a bunch of... I mean, someone was defending in here, I can see, but... Besides that, it's not really much of a place to, uh, speak of. Like, you, you tried Skeleton Buddy, if that was you anyway. Uh, but you hor you failed horribly at defending this place. But you tried. Well, rock, I'll keep that. Uh, I can remove you, you. Everything that's yellow, I can't move, so I'm gonna remove that. Everything green, I can move. I'll try to make like a little area here. There we go. It's gonna be a nice dinner table. This is where we could eat together, me and my um, dead family. <laughs> yes. Okay, I, I didn't really think I had that, but. We'll see. We'll see. I know that I'm going to meet some people soon, so uh, may may maybe I can eat with them. Oh, that's okay where it is, actually. I don't need to scrap that. This, though, I want to scrap. I don't want that. And that picture frame up there, too. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm done with my scrapping spree for now. So I'm going to check what I can actually build. I say as I scrap more stuff. Uh, so in structures, uh, I don't need to build any structures right now. What about furniture? Beds. I might need a bed. Decorations? What is... A mannequin? I'm alright. This place equipped... <laughs> Ooh. I did have some fun with this. Also female mannequins? That is... I don't remember there ever being mannequins in this game. When did they add that? Oh, it's gonna. I can make myself feel less lonely. Yes. It's gonna be like a family. It's gonna be like a person here. I'm gonna say hello to everyone. Whoops. Uh, we have like a guy here who's gonna welcome everyone into this place. Like, oh, hello, welcome. A guy under the tree who's like, hello. Oh, yes, yes. I'm gonna waste all my materials in this, but it's okay. It's making me feel less lonely. There was some stuff there that I forgot to scrap. Here we go. Here's a mannequin here too. I am gonna have my own mannequin army.
Just another one standing right here outside our house, of course. And then we have have you, who's like, oh, I'm in the garage. I'm just I'm just leaving my home. Okay, that's 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 enough. That's enough. Gotta stop myself. Heavy weapon wreck. I don't know what a lot of this stuff does. Vault. I can just put a vault girl, a vault boy here. Okay, let me let me put it near the tree then. Oh yeah, the game is dynamic weather. I forgot. Let's put that here. Yes, yeah, beautiful. There we go. Uh, there was. There we go. This I need to scrap. Uh, welcome, doorman. I'll just put that right here. Usually, you put that inside the door, though. Rain is so cozy. I used to always use a mod called uh, True Weather. Is that is that what it's called? True Storms. That added like better looking rain and nicer sounds, but uh, again, trying to stay true to vanilla. So I can't really use that, but damn, I would recommend it to everyone. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna try Vivid Weathers at some point, because I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but, but I've heard good things about it and that it should be better than True Storms, but I guess we'll see about it at some point. Now this video has already gone on for 41 minutes. So I'm going to have to end it here, but I hope you guys enjoyed my little rants and uh, me trying to remove things and build up sanctuary once again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.